What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Game Over Go Command. Welcome to an all new game here on the show. We have Shadows of the Damned, a game with a, uh, a Triforce of quality game developers working on it. We've got a uh, Suda51 who is not really known for his the, so much the design of his games being good as just his off the wall ideas and personality. We've got Shinji Mikami here directing the actual gameplay side of things, who uh, is most famous for, I guess, Resident Evil 4. Um, and this game plays a lot like that. And then the composer for the Silent Hill series, whose name I've forgotten. So, uh, yeah, this game is... Well, it plays like Resident Evil 4, as I've said in a previous video. And it's full of dick jokes, which, you know, to someone like me, dick jokes, Resident Evil 4, that's like... That's it. You've, you've got me. You've got me hooked. That's, that's all I could ever want in a game. So, here we are playing Shadows of the Dam. Now, this first episode is going to be very cutscene heavy, so I don't know how much talking I'll actually get to do in it. But, um, you know, after the game gets rolling, there's not really that many cutscenes, and it's just kind of like... I, I don't know. Anyway, this game isn't particularly amazing or anything, I think, in, in most people's opinions, but for, for me personally, it's, uh, its aesthetic is different enough, and the story is quirky enough, and the writing is good enough that I, I think it's... I don't want to say it's underappreciated, because I know why people don't really dig it, but to someone like me, this game is, like, really what I look for in games. Like, it's not... It's rough around the edges, but it's a very, very specific experience you're not going to get anywhere else which you know that's that's what i look for so let's get into it shall we shadows of the damn Something about the exploding screens. It's just beautiful with this music. I love it. Yeah, this game, uh, the mix of like Catholic, like satanic imagery mixed with Mexican culture and just, it's, it, the game's, I'd say the first like 20 minutes of the game, which is all set in the, in the human world is actually pretty, uh, pretty generic. And then as soon as you get to, although the color palette is still pretty off the, uh, still pretty unique, very specific. But um, once you get, once the game gets going, it's a it's a wild ride. Shit. But 
But uh, yeah, it's weird. the controls are very specific. I like the fact there's a dodge mechanic and stuff. It's very, if you played Resident Evil 4, you should fit right back into this. Should fit right into it very, very quickly. The fact that <laughs> it introduces Paula by saying starring Paula while her body's hanging from the ceiling, I think, uh, perfectly sums up the tone <laughs> of what you could expect. Ah, headshot, beautiful. Yeah, I feel like the, uh, the gunplay in this game definitely... All the guns feel really chunky. Which, you know, I thoroughly, thoroughly approve of. This is a fun little uh, opening section too. You know, it's, a, it's just a tutorial teaching how the mechanics work. Oh, straight off. Straight into the headshot. It doesn't control exactly how you'd expect. I don't think it handles very much like a modern shooter. Um, as you can probably notice, like I'm moving the... Usually in most third person shooters now, wherever your reticule's pointing, that's the center of the screen. And like everything kind of moves around that, but... This game uh, specifically does things differently, where you just kind of like it moves around independently within that. Ugh. Oh. The way he does that slow mo when you get a headshot, just so satisfying. Feels so good. You got your quick turn, just like Resident Evil 4. Oh, another one. So Dolly does this. Oh, first shot. Oh. Feels great. I think there's also a melee attack. No, I'm not getting that. For some reason I had the prompt come up, but then nothing was happening. Alright. Alright, well that's not something I really want happening. Better go get it away, these guys away from her. Whoops, gotta get used to all these. <laughs> Still gotta get used to the controls, because I mean like even though they to me feel quite good, I haven't played this and I, I played through this not when it came out, like a couple of years ago. You know, those who know me know that I don't play games when they come out, I play them ages afterwards. Ah. Come here. Come here, you butt. And come on. There we go. So, reacquainting myself, but... Asshole. How's that, Fleming? <laughs> oh, so be it. A 
place for Paula has now been set at my table, mortal. You cannot have her back now. But come to my castle in the underworld, and you could still join in our revels. Such a tempting offer. I do love a party. Maybe we could play Pong. Or do shots! <laughs> I would say, you slay me, Hotspur, but you don't, you can't. Now say goodbye to Paula. She has a lot of dying to do, and coming back to life, and dying some more. I like to keep my mistresses guessing. Yes, help her! Because in the meantime, I'll be helping myself. stretched out before us doesn't mean we have Is to... Is there a problem, Johnson? Well, I'm just saying, demons are buttholes. You really wouldn't like it there. <laughs> Says the former demon. What's wrong? Lost your spy. Uh -huh. Okay, okay, look. If you want to go to the underworld, good on you. But you don't know that place. Look, look, look. Look what they did to me. A few little transgressions, and now I'm doomed to an eternity of heavy metal jokes and, and posing for pirate flags. It's only worse for mortals. Then all the more reason to go. They have Paula. So the way I see it, you are either with me, or you're not. No! <sighs> Get on. Vamanos! The underworld lies just beyond the sound barrier. How do you know? That's like super classified demon information. <sighs> Not according to the internet. So, <laughs> this is the secondary uh, menu you get to when you want to start a new game, which is the strangest thing in the world. <laughs> but yeah, so it starts off super edgelord, and uh, it's, it's kind of funny. I don't know. I think it's funny. Anyway, this is where I'm going to leave it for this episode. So next time we're actually going to, we're apparently going to start a new road movie. Because why not? It makes sense. So I uh, thank you for joining me, and I hope you enjoy this game once we really get into it. And uh, I'll see you next time, so peace out everybody, stay good to each other, and have a good one. I'll catch you next time. <laughs>